Tonight, a story of tragedy and bravery. A man fishing on a railway bridge in Wareham was hit by a freight train. The conductor then jumped into the water below to try to save him. But despite the conductor's heroic efforts, the fisherman did not survive. WBZ's Julie McDonald with more on what happened. We now know that 56-year-old Christopher Cater from Dorchester was the man killed while fishing here in Wareham just after 2 in the afternoon. Investigators say all crossing barriers were working and the train's horn sounded repeatedly. It's one of my favorite spots here in Wareham. Yeah, a lot of people come here. It's great striper fishing and good blue crabbing. But the scenic spot for fishing became site of a dramatic and deadly tragedy Thursday. Sky Eye was overhead just after a man was hit and killed by a freight train. He was then thrown into the water. Oh, my heart's still, still pounding and fear of who is it? Because I like to fish, and, it, and is the next shock one of it being my friends? Mass Coastal Railroad told WBZ the train would have been traveling about 25 miles per hour through the area, and the conductor jumped in after the man in an effort to save him. The agency added the bridge is a known area for trespassing, and trains are repeatedly asking for help from police for people on or too close to the tracks. I've never really fished off that bridge, only because there's not much room on that bridge. Long after the scene cleared, neighbors and passers-by still felt heavy looking out at what usually brings such peace. Horrible. Sad. I got goosebumps. I feel bad for his family. You know, yeah. out fishing and then gone in an instant. And the conductor was not physically hurt, but certainly a traumatizing event to witness for the crew on this train. Cater was pulled from the water by emergency responders, rushed to Toby Hospital across the street, but did not survive. In Wareham, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.